and welcome back to my channel. BKD3D 2.9 was released yesterday and there are some, some important improvements listed. Performance improvements include reduced system memory on first run of an application, graphics pipeline libraries to avoid shader stutter in certain edge cases, improving performance with certain bad occlusion queries like in Elden Ring, improved CPU performance for single descriptor copies, and improved VRAM oversubscription behavior for supported extensions. Also improved DXR 1.1 support and the move to Vulkan 1.3 as minimum version is listed. There's also various other driver workarounds and fixes listed for both NVIDIA and RADV. I tested it in a few games to see if there's any performance increase. After all the benchmarks, we can now compare the results we got for the games I tested. Cyberpunk I saw a modest 1% low and average FPS uplift using 2.9. CPU load was also less and GPU load, VRAM and RAM usage increased. For Eternal, the 1% lows and average FPS is pretty much the same within margin of error. However, from the graphs, both FPS and frame times looked to be more unstable using 2.9. CPU and GPU load was less and VRAM and RAM usage increased. Far Cry 6 saw the best results with a 3% average uplift, especially the 1% lows being 7 FPS higher, and frame times being lower than on 2.8. CPU load and RAM usage were less, and GPU load and VRAM usage increased, which falls in line with the uplift. For one lens, the 1% lows and average FPS is pretty much the same within margin of error. No real difference between 2.8 and 2.9 observed here. This was the only game, however, where the CPU usage was more than on 2.8. The GPU load and RAM usage were less, but with the VRAM usage was more on 2.9. All in all, EKD 3D 2.9 looks to be a good release, and from the games I tested, it mostly improved CPU performance. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and cheers.